You're right, guys. It's Capgun Tom here, and welcome to another episode of the Ultimate Attacker Tournament. Today we have a pretty interesting one: the big man Ibrahimovic going up against his own teammate Edison Cavani. So, a really interesting competition between these two coming up. But first, if you're looking to buy some Ultimate Team coins, go and check out Basile.com. Their link will be down in the description. One of the West's most trusted coin merchants, so you buy your coins from them and use the discount code TCAPGUN for five percent off all of your purchases. Now, before we have a look at these two players, we're going to have to go and look at who won the last round of the Ultimate Attacker Tournament. It was between Lewandowski and Di Natale and I thought it was a really, really close competition but you guys seem to have gone away and decided on one player and one player only and that is Lewandowski. He is going through with 693 votes to Di Natale's 199. So well done Lewandowski, you're through the final player through into these quarterfinal matchups and uh, let's get in to the first one. So Ibrahimovic, he's 89 rated overall, he has 76 pace, 89 shooting, 79 passing, 88 dribbling, 53 defending and 79 heading, he's 6 foot 4, he has medium low work rates, 5 star skill, 4 star weak foot, power free kick, flare, long shot, take a trait to what he has, Cavani, he's 87 rated overall, 83 pace, 84 shooting, 66 passing, he has 80 dribbling, 56 defending and 84 heading, he's 6 foot, he has high high work rates, 3 star skill, 3 star weak foot, he also has the tries to be offside trap and long shot, take a trait. So let's build this team then, so we have both Ibrahimovic, Ibrahimovic and Cavani on the pitch however it doesn't really matter which side they were on because they both get full chemistry in this squad either way around and that's because at the right mid position I'm going to be using Lucas and in the other position I'm going to be using Inform Lovetsy at left mid therefore they both get strong links into each other and also strong links out to the wings so therefore they can switch around. Now I could have just made this an all uh, League One team an all PSG squad but I tried to make it as interesting as possible and put some strong players players in there and I decided to put a centre attack in mid, I decided to put a Barca player in and it's Neymar, he's also in the ultimate attacking tournament, he's through to the next round, we'll be seeing him in the next couple of episodes and uh, playing him at Cam today, he's got the 5 star skills, 5 star weak foot and oh my god, he's awesome, I absolutely love him. Then to get him onto full chemistry we're using two DMs from Barcelona, first one being Cesc Fabregas, thought that he was slightly better than Xavi that I could have also put in that position because he's taller and I just think he'd be better in that position and also Sergio Busquets, he's actually a fantastic player. If you haven't used him, I would definitely recommend you try him out. That means that we can now go into the defence. Now, we're going to go with all Brazilians, so at the right centre-back position, we're going to be using a PSG player in Marquinhos. And then at the uh, left centre-back position, we're going to be using another PSG player in Thiago Silva. So those two are in. Now we can get a link into all of the players around at the moment with one player and that's the informer Randy, you all have seen him there. Unfortunately he managed to get a red card for me in the last game which did end up costing me a result but um, that's neither here nor there. Very very good defence, I definitely recommend you try it out, uh, really strong. Uh, Marcanos is good as a, like a wide centre back rather than as a, like as in a pair or a central centre back just because he's not very good at heading but as long as you're aware of that you need to make sure you block the crosses coming in from the the, you know, the other side so that the person who's coming in at the back post isn't against Marcanos. that's the only thing you have to watch out for then in goal we're using a Brazilian keeper and I thought I'd go with this one because I haven't used him yet and it's Julio Cesar probably the best Brazilian goalkeeper last year and uh, he is pretty decent again this year so that's the team guys uh, costs absolutely loads I mean um, I think that Ibrahimovic is a mil, uh, you know, Neymar will be about 400, Lovetsi's like 250 at the least. So it is a pretty expensive squad, probably going up to towards the 2 mil mark, but not quite there. Um, but there you go. Now what we're going to do is jump into the stats and the goals. Okay, so we have Ibrahimovic on the left and Cavani on the right. It looks like a pretty one-sided affair, as you can see, loads of red on Cavani's side and loads of green on Ibrahimovic. Ibrahimovic was very, very very impressive. Let's look at their stats. You can see that man of the matches, Ibrahimovic got three to Cavani's one. Ibrahimovic got an 8.3 rating to Cavani's 7.9. Cavani only managed to get seven goals, whereas Ibrahimovic managed to get 13. Then in terms of consistency, uh, Cavani managed to score seven of the ten games, so he scored one goal in seven games, as you can see, seven goals, seven games, and uh, yeah, whatever. And uh, Ibrahimovic managed to score in nine of the ten games. Now, I have to say, the game that he didn't score in was actually a game that got rage 
it out in the 30th minute. So he may have scored in that game had it played all the way through. But Cavani had scored in that game, so I didn't think it was fair to restart the entire thing because, you know, I'd be taken away from Cavani's uh, hard efforts. He managed to score in 30 minutes. Maybe Ibrahimovic should have just tried a little bit harder. Now, look at Ibrahimovic there. This is the most ridiculous goal I think I've ever seen. He just pushes his way past everyone. Eventually, does a skill move and bang, literally just from a standing into the top left-hand corner. Unbelievable. Shot percentage, we see that uh, Ibrahimovic has 76% to Cavani 61. Then in terms of assists, this is where Cavani actually managed to beat Ibrahimovic, getting four assists to um, Ibrahimovic's three. Pass percentage, we see Ibrahimovic with 87%, whereas Cavani had 77%. And then dribble percentage or dribble, dribble completion, Ibrahimovic only had 56%, but that's because I think I'm a skiller, so I lose the ball a lot because I try and do skill moves and stuff with him. Not that I really scored all that many goals with it in this uh, sort of like little montage that's going on in the background and uh, you can see that Cavani had 74%. Now guys it's up to you to decide who you want to go through to the next round of the tournament. It is very important what, whoever you decide is going to go through to the semi-finals um, so they'll be in the very well they'll be in the playoffs at the very least if they get through this round. So um, all you have to do is head down into the description there is a link to an FUT head squad down at the bottom of the page there's two comments from me one that says vote Ibrahimovic one says vote Cavani. All you have to do is thumb the one that you want up and whoever gets the most will be the one that goes through so guys i hope you have enjoyed the video subscribe if you're new drop a like if you've enjoyed and i will see you all next time